Hey guys, wanted to talk uh, about my AI Prime light here. Um, I'm gonna do a few things in this video. So first here, what you're seeing is my tank under my blue conditions. Um, you're gonna see my tank under my transition from blue to daylight, and then you're gonna see my tank under daylight. I'm gonna run through the settings that I use. Um, if you wanna see the background as to why I chose those settings, look at the video I did previously on, previously on my AI Prime light. Um, but I'm going to show you the settings that I've, I'm using. Um, I did modify them previously from the other video just a little bit. Uh, intensities are the same, but many people requested hour ramp times. So I went ahead and put in those hour ramp times, and that's going to be displayed here in just a moment. And then I'm going to go through uh, what my coral growth has looked like and the effects on coloration. So we've got a lot of things coming up here, a lot of information in this video. Um, you saw it open up under the blue and then that second piece was under the transition and this is the daylight here. Uh, so we've got a few things coming up here. Uh, we're gonna get into the light spectrum. This is what my light spectrum looks like. So there's an hour ramp, we got blue, we got daylight, we got uh, nighttime. So the way that kind of works out is at 10 a.m. here, we are at zero. So I got a 12-hour 12, 12 light spectrum. At 10 a.m., we're at zero. Then we start our ramp up, and from 10 to 11 is a ramp up time. And then at 11 o'clock, we start our blue period. I hold that blue period here. This is exactly what it looks like. I hold that blue period for an hour and a half. So from 11 a.m. to 12.30, it is this. Um, doesn't change up and down, it just, I hold this. And then at 12.30, uh, we start the ramp to daylight. That is an hour ramp. So 12.30 to 1.30, we do the daylight ramp, and then we end right here, and this is what our daylight looks like. So you can see the UV comes down, purple comes down, the royal blue comes down, the blue comes down. We add in some green, some red, and we add in our cool whites. Um, I'll also note that I never use the moon lights. It's just, it's not built into anything I do. Um, so that's at 1.30, and I hold that 1.30 time until 6.30 p.m. So it's a five hour daylight time. And then we ramp right back here to the blue again. 6.30 to 7.30, we ramp to the blue, and I hold that blue from 7.30 to 9 p.m. And then that blue ramps back down from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m., so an hour ramp, all my times. My opening is an hour ramp. My change from opening blue to daylight is an hour ramp daylight back to blue is now a ramp and then we have this from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, is another hour ramp so we go from our end of the day blue to uh, off for the night and, and that's an hour ramp as well so let's get into some of the coral here so we've got this a can here um, this is what the frag looked like three months ago when it was uh, put into the tank um, and it's been in there uh, three months under my lighting conditions and uh, this is what we got now. You can just see all those little baby heads caked underneath it. There are uh, four here that you're seeing in the front and they just wrap all the way around it. So a ton of extra heads that have grown in. Of course, we all know that uh, light is a major factor in coral growth, but it's not the only factor. So I'll do a separate video on what I dose um, the additives I have and the things that I do um, from that side as well. But uh, we both know, we all know that uh, light plays a major factor in coral growth, um, just not the only factor. So uh, a lot of this is attributed to the light and um, what it's doing to the coral and how it's affecting the growth and the color. So seeing lots of positives here on the ACANs. Um, and again, I'll get something out on the dosing and what I add here soon. So we also have this uh, Monty Cap in the tank. Um, you can see all the white edges on it. Uh, when I bought this piece, it was a big piece and it was uh, a 
flat curved edge. Uh, somebody broke it off out of their tank and it was a nice flat curved edge. So all these little jutted out pieces, all these extra little pieces that have came out and are curling, that's all new growth. And it this has been in the tank about two and a half months. Um, this one's actually seen more growth than I expected. It, it's doing really well and I'm getting a, a good amount of growth out of that light on this guy. And so up next here is another SPS. It's a red branching Monte Digitata. And you can see here on this guy, uh, the edge that's closest to us here, that little bump down at the bottom, um, that's where the branch was when I put the frag into my tank about three months ago. And you can tell that I put it at a different uh, distance or a different uh, layout than what it was growing. And that whole edge there from that bump down at the bottom, um, right there, that bump down at the bottom, that whole extra piece there is all new growth in, in three months. So you can see where it was growing in one direction based on how I put it in my tank, it decided to grow a different direction um, and has done amazing since then. Lots of good growth on it. Um, and then as well as that other branch there that you see all those fingers coming off, um, that was just a stubby end. All those fingers have grown and uh, started taking off in different directions. So all those fingers there are, are all brand new growth um, over the past three months. So definitely seeing some good growth and good progress with SPS under uh, this light. Here we coming up, we have um, my one of my torches. Uh, this is a lemon lime torch. I traded, I did a video where I traded and got this uh, as two heads. Uh, probably, probably two months back, maybe a little over two months back. Um, it is now three heads. Uh, so, uh, that torch has grown an extra head and, uh, as you can see here, when I scroll back over to it here, when I, when I move over to here, there you go. Um, the colors are coming in amazing. Um, it looks amazing under that light. That's really, really bright. It shows very well. Um, and it, grew an extra head in a couple months. So very pleased with that. Um, a lot of great progress, a lot of great coloration and uh, growth on it. This one um, I'm gonna show for a little bit cause it's my most, one that's grown the most. Um, this is what it looked like when I first put it in the tank about two and a half months ago. Um, not so, didn't open up great. Um, the heads were small. This is what it looks like now. And you can see many of those heads are splitting. So I had bought eight heads. Um, I'm up to 10 individual heads and then a couple splitting. So this one has done tons of growth over the past two and a half months with it being in the tank. Um, couldn't really ask for much more on this guy because the, the coloration is looking great. Um, it's opening twice as big and um, it's the heads are just split left and right. You know, I mean, uh, two full splits and, and a couple more getting ready to split over a three month period for me. I think that is pretty darn good. So I'm going to show this one here for another minute. Um, and then we are going to see several more things and talk about uh, several more different growths that I've got going on.
All right, so coming up here is uh, a green cabbage that uh, I got for the tank. Um, it actually came with it when I bought the tank used. There it was. Um, so it's been about three months since I've had this tank set up. And you can see kind of how the growth is going here. Uh, definitely much bigger. Um, and that, you know, that's what there when it's first waking up. And then as the day goes on and it fully wakes up and fully stretches out, you can see it's starting to curve up the rock and up the glass of the tank. Uh, so when it's curving in, in both directions, it's way outgrown the spot that I put it in. Um, this thing's pretty much doubled in size in, in three months, which we all know cabbages grow really quick, but uh, double the size in three months, I think is pretty darn good. Um, and this light uh, is, is of course providing what it needs to grow. So the next thing we're gonna look at here is my trach. This guy also came with the tank three months ago. This is what it was looking like in the tank. Um, Got a little upper close picture here. Uh, after three months uh, with how I have the tank set up and, and the light schedule that I changed it to, uh, this is what we got going on here. Um, definitely opens up wider, uh, opens up bigger. Uh, I think the colors are more, uh, the, the splashes and specklings are, are definitely better displayed. Um, looks very nice. Uh, got a top down view of it coming here in one second and I think it looks even better from from a top-down view. So this guy coming up here uh, is a hammer that, again, came with the tank. That's what it looked like. Um, it was four heads. They were freshly split and very close together. And um, this is what it looks like now. So definitely opening it up bigger. Uh, heads are spreading farther apart. A very nice um, looking piece. I think it's definitely improved the way it looks a lot. This one also came with it. It's uh, like a teal blue, very small when I got it. It was two small little heads. And now we've got some heads that are splitting and um, definitely it's opening up bigger. It's flowing a lot more. Um, the colors are, are showing a lot better as you can see from the original picture to this picture. The, the colors are just popping a lot more. All right, so then we've got another hammer here that came with the tank as well. Um, you can see it was a small little piece there. Um, heads weren't opening up too big. Um, it is now up to four heads, and it is opening up twice the size of, of what it was. Um, again, they, they were there was three heads there when I got it. One was a splash, fresh split. One um, was... In the process of splitting but it wasn't split and now we've got four um, individual heads that have split apart and uh, opening up really big really nice um, coloration is coming in very well um, it's just a great looking piece um, of course this is a very common one tons of people have this uh, green purple tip hammer um, but again very pretty piece So if you remember on a video a little bit back with that uh, lemon lime torch, I also got this Frammer. Um, this is what it looked like when I first put it in my tank about two months back. And um, it's definitely seen some growth. Um, it is still just one head. Um, the colors are improving. It's looking better. Um, the head is elongating, so it's getting ready to split, but uh, it, it is still just one head for the past two and a half months. This, this guy really hasn't done anything, uh, but the reason I included it was the coloration. Uh, the 
tips on it are there turning much more blue. It's definitely a blue tip framer and uh, it's, you can see, just see the coloration so much better um, with it, with the time that it's been in the tank. So I have some candy cane that I'm gonna show here. Um, less about the growth, more about what the color coral looks like, kind of like the previous one. This is what it looked like when I first put it in the tank and the guy that I bought it from, it looked like that as well. The flesh was very close to the skeleton. Um, I've only had this in my tank a couple weeks and a couple weeks under these conditions, the heads are filling up full. Um, they're getting very fleshy, very full. Um, and it just looks, for, to me, it just looks amazing with the transformation between what they looked like in the guy's tank that I got them from and what they look like under these lightings, under this lighting condition. Uh, the heads are filling up. It's very, very fleshy heads. Uh, they eat very well. Um, just a great change. So this next one coming up is a uh, frog spawn. It is green with blue tips. It was a single head two and a half months ago when I got it. It is a double head now. Um, the bigger thing to point out, two and a half months ago when I got it, it was bleached out. It was like a little white snowball. Um, so I got it super cheap. I got it for 10 bucks because it just it was in rough, rough shape. And over the past two and a half months, all the color has come back and um, it's split and, and got a second head. So very, very pleased with that. And then this hammer um, I got oh, two and a half months ago and um, it's definitely opening up bigger now once it's acclimated into the tank. Um, it's a wall hammer. So, I mean, we're not gonna talk about a ton of growth here. We're, we're gonna talk about color. The golds in it are popping a lot more. Um, in a second here, when I scroll around to the side, there's some green developing down at the base of it. It's getting like the, the mouths are getting green, the bottom flesh is getting green, and it's, it looks very nice against the purple and gold uh, tips of the hammer. Um, it's a multicolor hammer. It's a very nice piece. Um, so check that out. When I spin around to the side here, you'll be able to see that. Um, those are all the ones I have for you. Of course, if you have questions, let me know. Give me a like, give me a subscribe to see more content and go check out the other video I did on AI Prime Light so you can kind of get a little bit of background as to why I chose these light settings. Um, but yeah, give me a like, give me a subscribe. Any questions, shoot them in the comments. Thanks, guys.